Kigili to Niamuheshiro was Mwami, king, of the Kingdom of Rwanda from 1576 to 1609. One of his military camps, known as Izuruguru, was attacked by a people called Abanyabungo from the western Kivu in the modern-day Congo. Kigili II crossed Rosizu River with his army and counter-attacked nearly all the chiefdoms in eastern Congo, including Bishuji, Kamurinsi, Jishali, Bohunda, Buza, and Tongo, Masisi. He redirected his expansionist attacks into western Uganda, around Lake Edward, and stopped at the Rock of Kabasha, Urutirua Kabasha, and marked it as the then border between Rwanda and Kitara. It was against Rwandan customary law to attack Kitara as it was believed to be the home of the god Ria and Gom. He attacked and conquered chiefdoms of Buberuka and confiscated their drum known as Isi and Go and attacked Kajizi and Bushanjuro where he came upon a unique variety of beans cultivated in Rwanda to this day and which supplanted the indigenous type that was known as Ibiro. He also confiscated from Bunyoro a breed of goats known as Ihenizi Akaminjo. A tradition of goat show and parade was introduced at the palace until the reign of Uiv Musinga during whose time a caretaker named Bunyuri W. Muhoza from Jishubi in Jitarama was the goat's shepherd. During Kigili II Niamuheshara's reign, parts of Rwanda were under occupation by neighboring kingdoms. Some of the areas affected were the territories of Buanasiamwi, which had been confiscated by a king known as Kimenai II Shumbusho, and the territories of Gizaka and Andorwe, found in modern parts of northwestern Tanzania and southwestern Uganda. Kigili II's opportunity to attack and reclaim Buanasiamwi and Gizaka arose when the teenage king of Andorwe, Gahaya Irutandajili, initiated a conflict against his cousin, the teenage king of Gizaka, Kimenai III Ruahasha. These two kings were still too young to rule in their own right, so their mothers ruled on their behalf. Andorwe's queen mother, Nyuragahaya I, went to war against Nyurakamini I III Kabond of Gizaka on behalf of their sons. Gizaka's teenage king Kimenai I III was a nephew of Buanasiamwi's king Kimenai II Shumbusho. After his mother's horrific defeat, the people of Gizaka and Buanasiamwi's king Kimenai II requested Rwandan king Kigili II Niamuheshara, their former nemesis, to help hide the teenage king and lend them military power to drive Andorwe Queen Nyuragahayai out of Gizaka. Kigili II agreed on condition that King Kimenai return the territory of Buanasiamwi to the Kingdom of Rwanda. The two set off and launched a combined army against Queen Nyuragahayai's army. The Andorwe army was defeated on the first attack and the Kingdom of Rwanda regained its territory of Buanasiamwi. At that point, Kigili II Niamuheshara spared King Kimenai II and three S lives and refrained from capturing the territory of Gizaka, as it was under a boy king. It was dishonorable in Rwandan tradition to attack and conquer a kingdom whose king was still a child. It was to fully become part of Rwanda a few centuries later during the reign of Ruabujili IV. Kigili II Niamuheshara's reign is also marked by the death of his queen, Nyurakigili II by suicide after she suspected that she was pregnant through adultery. Queen Nurakagili Tunsenderi was buried at Butangampundu, a special burial place for Rwandan kings, queens, and royals that were suspected to have died as a result of suicide. 